Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. In this one, we're going to be learning how to create a very beautiful birthday production. You can even add your numbers to the image and that's what we're going to be doing in this video. So we're going to be moving this boy over to this backdrop and of course we're going to be adding number five to mark his five years birthday. So without wasting much of your time, let's quickly get started. The first thing we need to do, of course, is to expand the image or crop it out because if you look at the background we are going to be using you will notice we'll have a lot of foreground and if we do not you know give space for that here it's going to look weird at the end of the day so we just give it a little foreground and wait for it right so once the cropping is done the next thing is to officially separate him from the background so select subject and wait for it all right the selection is done right click and go to select inverse Make a duplicate from your background here, right click again, go to layer here, cut. So now we'll have our image on a separate layer and our background on a separate layer. So it's time to bring in your background. But before you do that, do make sure that his uh, layer is the number one layer above all other layers. So things don't get, you know, weird in the middle. So we'll bring in the background we want to be using and we have to unlock it. Pick up our move tool, drag it all the way into the to the image we are compositing scale it out place him properly on the floor all right so the only issue right now is that he is standing on the air he's not looking like he's on that floor why because there are no or there is no shadow on the floor for him so what do we do create an empty layer pick up our brush make sure it's a hard brush and once you turn it hard make sure your opacity and your flow is 100 then make a dab the moment you do that, you are going to see a circular shape. Press Ctrl T. Hold your shift to bring it to the floor like that. Press OK. Use your move tool. Drag it all the way in here. So the moment you have the shadow properly positioned, go to your filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian blur. I think we'll have to leave it like that. Our shadow is not blurring. So another thing we can do is that we can actually make it look so tiny that it's truly, truly on the floor like this. Then bring it in, make it slightly longer. So you have the boy on the floor. So if you look at him now, you will notice that he is trying to make a move forward and his leg, even the one on the floor, is lifting up a little. But we still need to do something about that shadow. It looks too hard to be a shadow. So we need to blow it out a little, but not entirely. Okay, press enter. So we can zoom in to make sure it's still very much intact. Now I'm noticing one thing. If you're also look, noticing it at the tip of his shoe is whitish. So just create a mask there, pick up your brush. All right, uh, this is too much. All right, so we'll have that fixed. The next thing we are going to be looking at now is to bring out, bring in our number five. Well, before we do that, we need to make this shadow a bit more intense because he's obviously hanging on the air. So we'll just put a little more control T. This one wouldn't blow it out at all. Change the blend mode to multiply. Any other blend mode that allows it, you know, stay there without been much of a problem. I think we we'll have to stick to normal, reduce the opacity and reduce the fuel. All right, so let's bring in our number five right here into this image. So we're going to be placing the number five either behind or in front of him. Let's keep it behind him. That is where there is space. So I'll make a selection of our number five. All right, so the selection is made. Uh, create a mask for it so that we'll have it on a different layer. Press Ctrl I, pick up your brush or your move tool rather, drag it all the way in to the image. So place it over here. Wow, so you need to convert it to a smart object. If not, when you scale up, it's going to lose a lot of pixels. 
So having converted it to a smart object, you'll be able to scale it no matter how large you want it to be or no matter how small you want it to be, it definitely is still going to fit in perfectly without looking too heavily pixelated. So once it's done, increase the size. So we have our number five already added, except for a few changes that we need to implement. Number one is that it's looking way brighter than every other thing in my frame. So if we create a black and white adjustment layer now, you notice that it is actually brighter than every other thing we have going on in the image. And what do we do about that? We tone it down. So I have to find where it is right here, create a course for it and clip it down. Then reduce the brightness. Beautiful. So now if we remove the black and white, you'll notice that it has properly fitted in, in brightness. The next thing to do is to introduce shadows into it because it needs to be on the flop. So how do we do that? Very simple. Come over here, create an empty layer, pick up your brush and just, you know, make it dab. Press Ctrl T, make it lie down on the floor and make it look tall or long or you know, like like this press ok move the file the shadow rather and place it under our number five make sure both of them are meeting so the next thing to do is to blow it out a little bit because it's too hard we just blow it out by 36 and also change the blend mode to soft lights just give it that beautiful general welcome feel why can't I see? Okay. Wait, so I have to take it back. I think we mistakenly deleted a layer. Very good. So we have our shadow layer here. So the next thing we want to do is to create a global color grading to make everything we've done look quite realistic. So we'll go to our color lookup. I'll find something really, really interesting. This is beautiful. But it's altering the whole rest color. I love this. Let's see how this is going to look. Uh, and as much as it looks off, still doesn't resonate so well. This is beautiful. So nice. I think I'm going to go for this one. All right. So guys, we are good to go. Let me show you the overall before and after when we got started. This is the image before. Where is it? Okay. So this was our image before now. And this is the after, the before the after so if there's any part of this thing that we use here that you are interested in getting the number or even the backdrop all you need to do is just to comment interested in the comment section and you will get a step and you will get uh, access to our telegram community where you will get access to every single thing that we give out for free thank you so much for watching this amazing video do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and if you subscribe turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. Until then, see you on the next one. Bye for now.